Jump in here. Action. All right, so I'm playing Paper Mario. And first off, let me just kind of like say, you know, um, as this game starts to boot up, uh, I had a lot of fun at Anime LA. Hope you guys check out my Anime LA video. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about it, just uh, hit me up, you know, especially if you want to see more stuff like shopping or uh, I have a whole bunch of video to sort of go through. All right, so let's go through this. All right, so cool. I am on this ship and I have not uh, finished this level yet. Um, but the last time I played, I was sort of doing this generator uh, level. And I got the ship's generator to turn on, which was great. Now I'm just sort of like exploring and trying to figure out what to do next. And I always need sort of a jog my brain moment when I play this game because I forget I have so many games rotating. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, <laughs> looks like a tentacle. So something happened. Um, black goop. Oh no, we're definitely in trouble. All right. So, yeah, like I said, I was playing this game. Black Sludge, I can't believe it's back. Terrifying, terrifying. Um, I was playing this game, and then, you know, like, I kind of have three other games that I'm playing right now in rotation. I'm playing Persona, Yakuza, I think Yakuza 3, um, Persona 5, and then uh, Pokemon Shield and Sword. And then I do want to play the new Pokemon game, too, so that's kind of, like, why I'm doing these video games. Um... So yeah, here, I just want to kind of continue uh, playing this game. Oh crap, <laughs> got hit by this enemy. So I'm talking. All right, so let's see here. I gotta line them up. Man, let me think about the puzzle real quick. All right, cool. So, okay, I think I got it. Um, Actually, I probably don't got it. <laughs> you know, like, the thing about this game is like, it's different from other RPGs uh, in where you'll just kind of like button mash. This one is more just kind of like you have to think about like what you're gonna do. Like I, I am like not doing thinking at all right now. Um, and actually, I kind of forgot what like the move sets I need to do are. Um, but I did get the excellent, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. I'll just try again. I'm not getting it. Oh, we got excellent right now. Okay, cool. All right. So. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, uh, hold on, let me try to block. Ugh, I didn't block, that sucked. Okay, block, block, blah. I forgot this controls already. Um, okay, so anyway, like my strategy with this is try to like solve the puzzle. Um, but sometimes it's hard, like, and, but I, I like that about this game. It's different from like other games you know, where uh, you, again, button mash with, you know, trying to like solve an RPG. Uh, let's see. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I missed that. Okay. <laughs> um, I know a lot of fans were kind of like annoyed with this game. And then, um, you know, like I saw like some reviews on Target and they said that, you know, the, the battle scenes are pretty worthless. Right, like battling in this game, like it doesn't give you any experience level up or anything like that. So hang on one sec. And I kind of agree, all right, almost. I kind of agree like um, that the battles in this game are a little pointless because like you don't actually level up. Um, but I would, I would actually kind of also argue that you do get a lot of money, which in some ways does help you. And so, um, hang on a sec. Like, the more money you get, like, the more you can kind of avoid battles. So, anyway, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go up here. Like, it, the thing in the, the battle system is, like, if you have a lot of coins, right, like, then uh, you can uh, basically kind of avoid, uh, right? I thought that was totally, <laughs> like, a, a little hole there. It's not. Okay, what am I doing? All right, hang on a sec. All right, let me go back a step. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, like I was saying, the coins kind of help, like, just kind of avoid um, battles because you can get toads to pretty much wipe out the enemies for you. And right now I'm just sort of, like, looking around the ship, again, trying to figure out what to do. Um, jogging my memory here. 
Uh, I can't go in there. Something's keeping this door shut from the other side. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll have to go and find another spot to go. Can I go out the window? No. Alright. Okay, let's see. Uh, should I go this way? Alright, there's nothing here. Broken chairs. I go back that way. Um, but yeah, Anime LA was really fun. I, I felt like it was such a fun time to go to Anime LA and uh, if you haven't seen my video on YouTube, you know, definitely check it out. I'm gonna have like more videos coming out for that. Um, but yeah, this is like for me a way to just kind of like relax, play video games, get some video game time in. Because um, I don't really get to play a lot of video games lately. And also just sort of talk to you guys, the audience. I, I probably won't be able to talk intelligently, but like, you know, you kind of get to like hang out with me, which is kind of cool. So I'm going up this elevator. Um, I think that might work for me. I feel like that's... I, I saw something actually. There's a little octopus or something. Yeah, this whole ship has like turned into... Like an octopus thing. Okay, I guess we have to go to the state room. We get this treasure chest. Cool. Shiny iron boots. I was running out of boots lately. Alright. Can't go there. <laughs> what, what the heck? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, before I go to the estate room, let me just see if there's anything. Oh, that's a toad. Let's pull him out. All right, we got gotcha. you. You're covered in black. Help! Never be able to wash this out. I hate the sea. Oh, oh, that's the enemy. Oh, that's the guy that's blocking me. Yeah. Alright. They're already lined up. This is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna try like use coins right now. And hopefully I can knock out some enemies. Uh my whole thing with the puzzles, right? Like again, like some of them are annoying, like this. Um yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna try like knock out. So like what I always try to do is just like knock out the enemies with a lot of power, right? Like Mario sometimes gets like three or four rounds. And so I'll just try like um, hit the same enemies so that they die and like I get rid of the enemies quicker. Uh, but Bomb like usually kind of comes in last and help. Uh, I gotta go like this. Oh, wait, let me get killed. <laughs> I didn't even block it. Oh, that was worthless. That was super lame. Oh, well, I got two, two HP damage right there. Okay. Uh, again, I'm not really sure what I need to do. I could probably move the spider a little bit. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, these puzzles are hard, but like, it's different. It's a different way of playing the game. Uh, like I said, then rather than uh, button mashing. But my strategy right now is just like take out the majority of the enemies. So I'm gonna just do that real quick. Boom, boom. All right. These guys are hard. Ah, oh, you failed, bomb. Okay, let's try again. Ah, oh, I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> it's sucking so bad. All right. Uh, line them up. That was easy. Okay. All right. I'm gonna Jump and again, like just take out these enemies as quick as I can. Uh, see how like they're kind of getting lower in count. Um, that's sort of the point. That is like my brute force strategy. Sometimes again, I think back to programming a little bit when I like play these games because I'm like uh, I don't really have like a algorithm in mind yet. So other than like take out like the majority of the gunk and then let my little bob bomb friend like sort of finish him out. You did it! Ooh, okay. See? It works. Alright, I got some money too. Okay. Let's open. Oh, that's right where we were trying to open the other door. Okay, cool. 
Alright, I guess I'm gonna go to the state room. There it is, Big M, that yellow box. Put it in this lockbox to keep it safe. What was the code? Come on, brain. Think, think, think. Uh oh. Something's happening. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Took the treasure box. Hey, give that back. We have to get that box back. That monster is probably on the ship's boat. Let's chase after it. I'm gonna get this heart first. Alright, 100 HP. Uh, can I jump out the window? No, I guess I can't. Alright. Uh, where should I go? I guess this way. Let's go this way. Oh, okay. The monster is getting angry. This is the fun part, right? Like, when I play video games and stuff, like, I remind myself of the past, like, if I'm doing, like, a stream or something or a recording, I kind of remind myself of, like, old days, like, in high school and stuff like that, where, um, like, it would be me and my friends playing at night and watching each other play. It was, like, a lot of fun. So, alright, um, I just died a couple times as I was making this video. <laughs> And uh, I just was like, crap. So I decided to just play through this. And so at this time, I'm just sort of reacting to my own play. Because uh, it took me a couple tries to like actually beat this boss. That's what happened. Uh, I got up to a tentacle boss. And uh, I was getting my butt kicked. I got my butt kicked two times. So uh, I figured out that what you have to do is... Like the first part is kind of like pretty simple. Um, you just kind of have to avoid these little waves and then you hit them with the hammer right like you hit the tentacle with the hammer and then you know it it um makes this guy angry and then he throws out more black gunk at you and uh then you know like it gets kind of slippery but the strategy is pretty much the same you just kind of have to watch out for these tentacles again like i was just getting killed and i was thinking oh this is not gonna make for an interesting video if i just keep getting killed so uh, sometimes I'll play the game and then sometimes I'll just sort of react to like my own playing because I get like like oh man I gotta finish this level so otherwise I'll never finish the game so anyway like again that's the strategy what you want to do is just kind of hit uh, the tentacles and avoid the water and it gets faster a little bit um, but the cool thing is you get to heal and then this guy is like a pain right? so he just kind of comes in out of nowhere um, well actually yeah, he does tell you he's coming. Anyway, so what you're supposed to do is avoid these wa waterfalls like I didn't, right? Um, and then try to hit him like in like either his arms or his face, um, you know, like his eyes. And he's kind of like the other Goombas or like paper mache like Goombas in the beginning. Because all you have to do is just pretty much keep hitting him. But it's hard to hit him because, you know, he's... Tentacles hurt so much, right? So like that's kind of like the hardest part about this battle. But he will um, once in a while kind of spin around and around, and so uh, what you do is you just kind of have to like let him spin around and get out of control, and then you know like wait for him to you know get confused. Then you go and try to hit him. I was making the mistake. This is where I kept dying. Like I kept getting hit by these waves. Then I'd try to like hit him quick, but then I would get hit by his hands or something else. and uh, Or I'd get hit by the wave too quickly like this, right? And then oh, it was just like a really annoying, so... Uh, <laughs> it was hard. Okay. But I think I'm almost done with this guy, right? Like, so what you gotta do is just let him like just stand back. Don't hit, get hit by the waves. Um, and there we go. Beat him. Alright, so returning back to this game now. Big M. That was incredible. I do need to wallop that thing. Looks like the lockbox survived too. Let's plug in the security code. Yay, we got a super important Olivia saving item. That's really the point. Like, uh, Olivia got thrown 
under like a rock by her brother, <laughs> which uh, which wasn't cool. And so me and Babam set off to uh, to basically like find the ship and then get like this thing. Anyway, this guy's like say dirty meat of his fibs. Was full of passengers. Crew and stuff is available. Let's go find Olivia. Okay. I know I'm not doing a great job of reading like the text. You can probably read it if you want. <laughs> I'm just sort of uh kind of like playing the game and talking. At times like um you know like before right uh where I had to stop the game and then like kind of play it until like I actually finished the level. Uh, I'll just kind of like react to my own game, but then like. After that, I'll pause and then like continue playing the game and start talking through it. So I'm gonna just use mushroom real quick. Cool. All right, I guess I'll just maybe um, explore the ship a little bit more because I'm not sure I saw everything. Wait, maybe I'll check. One more place first. I definitely didn't uh, get that little uh, ribbon thing in the steam room, so I want to go and check that. Out. So let's see here. Maybe I'll go back to elevator first, though. But yeah, you know. Um, yeah, gaming is fun. I really enjoy gaming. Like, I think this is like one of my favorite hobbies. And just be able to play it, you know, and uh, talk to you guys is great. I know, like, again, I'm not like saying a lot here, um, but you know, it's just a way for me to relax and like talk to you all and maybe just kind of like you know think about um, some of the cool stuff that happened over the week. So. I am definitely thinking about like another con. I'm thinking about like which con I should go to, as well as like some of the animes that you all mentioned at the con. Like I definitely want to see Chainsaw Man. I definitely want to. So I'm reading One Piece, and I feel like uh, I want to like finish that manga and anime because uh, that was a really good one, and I enjoyed like the artist who came and like drew One Piece and Naruto. So that was really great. Looks like I can't get back in there still. Um, I'll find another way to get in there. And then, yeah, like I have a video that I'm working on, which will be like my shopping experience. And then like, I'm also going to sort of just talk about like my favorite anime and manga and uh, what you should probably be reading. So I'm going to go back this way, is what I decided. <laughs> uh, sometimes like when I play the game, like I just kind of go round and round and round. But that's me. I I actually play games. Uh, I go through this. When you, if you saw me play Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, you'd be like, "Why have you not finished that game yet?" It's because I do this. I'm just like constantly like running around and trying to figure out what to do next. So I wanted to get this thing. How do I get it? I beat the level, and I still haven't figured out how to get it. Hmm. Can I jump this way? No. How do you get this thing? Uh, uh, oh, whoa, okay, okay, there we go. There's a little hole there. Alright, that's great. Finally solved that mystery. And that's what I'm saying, like, I, uh, um, basically... Oh, there's a toad there. Let's pull him out. I basically just kind of like run around a lot in video games. That might be sort of off-putting to like anybody watching me play a game. Uh, I think like as I start doing these video games a little bit more, I may start like editing parts and uh, you know sort of just like trying to like clean up some of these videos, like react to like my videos more than play the game. Um, and especially like if it's trying to like be a tutorial like maybe help people but I haven't figured out what I want to do yet I just kind of figured that like I would just start talking and just basically like play a game that's really the strategy at the moment 
and again it's just fun to play games and talk and uh, you know just hang out with you guys and girls um, and figure out stuff together you know if you're in the comments and you or you're trying to comment you know or thinking of like what should I comment <laughs> Maybe just kind of like tell me like if you played this game, if you enjoyed this game, uh, what games are you playing? Maybe next time I can kind of play the game uh, that you guys are all playing. But I, I do want to finish this one. I want to finish Paper Mario for sure. Uh, so I'm... I didn't go this way. Okay, cool. I'm going to try filling out these holes. Cool. I wonder if Mario can swim in that pool. He's made of paper. Alright. Got the coin. Let's go upstairs. Is there a hole? There's a little hole. Alright. And that must be the door that I was trying to like... Ah, oh, so there's a big barrel there. Okay, great. Uh, what about over here? We got here. Hole. Let's fill it up. There's a treasure chest, so I'm gonna get that treasure chest. Open. Yeah! Max up hard, 20. Nice, I needed something like this. <laughs> Like, so, they say you don't level up in Paper Mario, but, like, I think that's, that's the thing right there. You get coins and you get these hearts, HP. The coins help you kind of cheat battles, so you don't have to, like, think about how to solve the puzzle. And the more coins you have, or the richer you are, like, the, it's like real life. Like, you can have people solve your problem. Oh, Mario, too, too. We need to rescue the passengers that abandoned ship, but there's too much fog in the Great Sea. Okay. You see that the fog is lifted, will you come and let us know? All right. Okay. So, shall we ship out? Yes. You know, another thing about this game that I really like, right, is just the artwork. Artwork is so good. Whoever, like, imagined this, freaking genius. It's just so cool, paper. <laughs> it's a different theme. Okay, I think I need to, like, Maybe just get back to town. Is there a way to do that? Be returned to town. Alright, let's do that. Yes! I'm gonna return to town. Okay. Cool, I don't have to like actually sit there and drive the ship. It is fun. I'll say that. It is definitely fun. <laughs> like, playing this game um, and exploring a lot. But I just want to get back to town. Alright, so we're in town. Alright. I think I am just gonna head back to, oh yeah, Olivia. Was it this way? So Olivia is like the other character in this game. She, again, like is the sister of this guy who like comes. So everybody in Paper Mario is like flat, right? But then there's like this origami kind of like character. Uh, oh yeah, I need to go this way to the museum. Um, there's like this origami like character that comes. He's like the prince, and he like starts turning all the flat people into like uh, origami people, right? And he wants to take over Paper Mario's kingdom. I, oh wait, I, yeah, I need to go this way. What am I doing? Okay. So anyway, um, so Olivia is like the sister of this bad guy, right? And she teams up with Mario to stop him from hurting people. Because she doesn't like what he's doing, the big bro. I need to go this way, by the way. Because I think I came out this war pipe last time. Yeah, so I finished level two. I think like this must be level three. Okay, let's see here, what's next? So, yeah, to get back, I think I have to ride a ship. And I think it was this guy. Uh, I went to the wrong place, so I'm just gonna react to my video. 
Uh, so instead of going to Autumn Mountain and Eddie River Rapids, you actually want to go to the first choice, um, which I don't know why, like, but I picked the wrong choice. But you're supposed to go to Sweet Paper Valley. So anyway, I ended up playing this, and then I was like, okay, I'm already playing this, and so might as well just come back later and like talk about what I did. Um, and that gives me more chance to talk to you all as well. So I ended up, yeah. Uh, <laughs> kind of playing through this part and this part is like where Olivia's gets trapped right and so uh, she's under this huge rock right here as you can see and then um, you know Bombi I guess that's his name or Bobby Bobby is his name oh, I'm so bad with names too uh, he tells us you know there was something in the lockbox that we got off that ship that we just did right and so here he just kind of like tells us that you know he was hanging out with his bomb rads, right? The bomb rads, and they all were gonna hang out in the stateroom on the ship while they were on a cruise. It was like the best trip ever. And then all of a sudden, this tentacle octopus guy, the monstrous blooper, right? That's actually what it is—a blooper. I gotta know my Mario stuff, dude. Uh, <laughs> came and attacked the ship. It was an origami blooper. They did their best to protect Princess Peach, but his fuse got knocked loose, so he had to just basically, um, well, he, he he lost his memory as a result of the fuse going. Usually bob -bombs have fuses. Uh, he washed up on Tow Town, and so like after that, like he didn't remember who he was, and then basically like he just kind of went off on an adventure on his own. And, after that, like, he stumbled into me, Mario, right, with Olivia and everybody else, so, yeah, that's kind of like the gist. And, uh, after he saw the fireworks at the Shogun Studios, that was, like, the level before, by the way, then he remembered who he was and his fight with the blooper. Everything came back to him. So, now these guys' memories, what do you think is going to happen next? <laughs> he figured out how to rescue Olivia. So he had a lot of buds, but one of his best buds got scrapped a long time ago. His name was Babam, and he all had a very similar personality to the Bobby guy. He always had his fuse until his amnesia hit, and so he took that uh, fuse and he stored it in the VIP stateroom. Essentially, that's what we went and recovered. All right, so. He's now, he's like, okay, I want to make a change. I want to change for the better. Big M, I had so much fun traveling with you and Olivia. It's been a blast. I'm kind of nervous. Thanks for the fuse, best bud, and thank you, Mario, for everything. Oh no, what's he gonna do? No! Don't do it! Boom! Holy crap. No. My homeboy just like totally blew his brains out. This is uh not good for children to <laughs> see this kind of stuff. Uh is he really gone? Oh, there's Olivia. Okay. So, yeah, we we got Olivia. Thank you, Mario. Did you save me? Now I'm back to my full and fancy free self. So this part basically like rescue Olivia, but yeah, you know, like where is uh where's Bobby the bomb? The bomb. Jessica Power, what? Wait, huh? So Olivia kind of looks around. Where's Bobby? Is he around? Don't tell me you missed all this. Mario? Did he? There was a loud bang and now the rock is gone! Yep. <laughs> no! It can't be! So yeah, Olivia just basically kind of does what anybody else might do. Like, their friend dies, right? Like, just scream off into the distance. Need some time. 
So, after that, I kind of just started playing this little breezy tunnel. And I'm going to try to like, jump back into that gaming. So hang on tight. Alright, so I'm playing level again uh, after I stopped that one part. And Bowser says dig for shiny stuff. So my friend Bobby just died. And now, like, I gotta find Olivia. Alright, so I'm just right now, like, sort of checking around for coins and treasure chests. I wonder how I get that treasure chest. I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay, here's this guy is here. Pull him out. What's oh, the big idea? I'm digging here. <laughs> he doesn't want to be pulled out. Okay. What is this thing? I guess there's nothing. Let's open the door. Dig hard and play hard. This is yoga. You watch, I'm gonna touch my toes one of these years. From above ground, my bro couldn't shovel it up anymore, so he moved up there. Selling tree gets to the roadside. You see him telling me stinks. Okay. <laughs> uh, you gotta love the comedy aspect of this. I mean, like, yeah, I know people say play in Japanese, you know, and you know, try to study Japanese or whatever. It's great. I do that, but sometimes I like reading stuff in English too because I feel like the English cast does a really fun job of like uh, changing maybe some of the, the content to suit American audiences. So sometimes like even when I'm watching anime too, I'll watch it in English. You did it. You found the cave of breakdancing. It's a bathroom. Uh, Again, yeah, it's just like silly. Sometimes like when you read it in English, you're just like... He's <laughs> on his break. You're just like, what were they thinking like when they translated this game? Uh, and it's the same with anime like too. Like I remember, um, if you've ever played Rurouni Ken if you've ever watched Rurouni Kenshin, right? Like uh, on DVD, um, there's like this bloopers part, which is so funny. Did you make that B-girl cry? Moles don't take care of the bullies. Like, uh, there's this blooper part. Oh, I'm gonna get this. There's this blooper part um, in the Rooney Kenshin DVDs. And it's just so funny. It's just English. Like, it was like trying to say Ama Kakeru. Um, I forgot the jutsu or the, the move. And I think the guy in English also couldn't say it. Oh wait, let me get this real quick. Let's see what he's got. Heart plus. I'll get this. 200 coins. Cool. Uh, so yeah, this English voice actor couldn't say the Ama Kakeru Ryu no Hirameki. I think that's what it was. And so he just said Ama Kakeru whatever, right? And then with a side of fries and coke. And I thought, that's so stupid. Is that really the translation? This is a blooper. But it was funny. Um, so I like stuff like that. It's so funny. I need shiny boots, by the way. So I need shiny boots. And so I'm going to get two of those. I need two pairs anyway. And then a hammer. And Because like my my inventory right now is just totally sucks. Okay, I got... Should I get some mushroom? Yeah, I'll get the mushroom too. Very cool. Don't forget to equip your weapons in the plus equip menu. Okay. Let's do that. Take some shiny boots. Need two powers. <laughs> and then a shiny hammer. And this flashy hammer. Okay. Uh, let's go back. I gotta find Olivia. That's what I'm doing. My friend Bombi just died on me. Bombe. Bobby. That's who his name is. Bobby. I can't even say the name right. Who's there? Who's this guy? It's a mole. I crawled in that rock to take a nap. That was three years ago. Thanks for the wake up, pal. Or something for your effort. Oh, thanks. 
Got some money. Money. Okay. Oh, there's Olivia. Sniff, sniff. Whimper. Bobby sacrificed himself for me. Now he's gone. How could he do that? I, I don't know how I can go on. What are we gonna do, Mario? That's it? He's just gone. I'm too sad to move. Okay, what else? He's just gone. I'm too sad to move. Okay, maybe I should just leave. I'll ask one more time. Ah, uh, she's just repeating herself. Okay, I guess like I have to continue <laughs> without Olivia for for right now. I don't know. Um. Yeah. What was I saying anyway? Oh yeah, it's fun to watch stuff in English. Like I, you know, like that's the thing about Anime LA is that there's a lot more uh, American voice actors uh, than Japanese. Oh, it looks like these guys are running away. Jackpot, baby. Some kind of huge rock exploded outside. Gather all the pieces so you find shiny Bowser. I don't know if you blow up a rock that big and I don't care, but this is gonna get us out for weeks. We've got a model. But yeah, you know, like, um, uh, maybe something's here. Uh, should I go this way? Big M. Who said that? English voice actor said that. Big M. <laughs> Comedic English voice actor. I want to uh, voice these, you know, and be funny. <laughs> Listen, Olivia's having a hard time. It's the ghost of Bobby, by the way. She doesn't pull through. It's everything I did in vain. It's so weird. You come back to us? You're Big M. If anyone can cheer her up, it's you. Just think, what could you do to put a smile on her face? After is the best medicine. Yes, we should totally voice act to you the, the wrong way. <laughs> and that would be pretty funny. I'm flattered you're coming back to me. Go find Olivia and put a smile on her face. Okay. Yes, let's give Olivia, let's give Mario an Indian accent. I think that'd be kind of fun. I can say that because I'm Indian. <laughs> uh, I am thinking whether I should read this in Indian accents. I don't know. Probably be a little bit offensive to other Indians watching because they're like, you Indian, why are you doing that? <laughs> um, yeah, if you didn't know, I'm Indian American, but I also studied Japanese uh, and speak English in America. All right, I think I can make her laugh with this Goomba outfit. I remember that. She did laugh at this last time. Oh, that's not fair, Mario. Stop trying to force me to laugh with that. Did it work? I mean, it's quite ridiculous. Okay, yeah, <laughs> it works. Oh, 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 I didn't need that. Thank you, Mario. I can't sit away on rolling in misery. Bobby wouldn't have wanted that. His name is Bobby. Not Bobombi, you're Bobby. Let's stop my brother. Thanks again, Mario, and thanks for all your heroics. All right, let's see if we can find that yellow streamer. Oh my gosh, you, first you have to remove that ridiculous thing from your head. I cannot take you seriously. All right. Got Olivia back. All right. By the way, I hope you're having fun watching me play this game. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna just keep doing these, you know, and uh, learn to be entertaining. I mean, you don't have to watch all the video game stuff I do. All right, I feel like we're back on track now. Let's go back to the tunnel and get the streamer. Sometimes you need a crude cry. Uh, but yeah, like what I'm saying is like, you know, I'm just playing this game. 
Um, oh, she's saying Bobby. She can sense him. I'm just playing this game just to play, you know, and try to like improve or like finish the game. That's really what it's about. Finish these games and just kind of record it. Uh, it's a way for me to kind of talk and have small chat with y'all. Uh, so feel free to kind of like, you know, watch it and then, you know, uh, see some other videos. Or if you want me to finish the whole game, totally, you can do that too. Looks like I got some in here. But I'll do like the more serious YouTube um, stuff, like other videos in other playlists. You know, this is just more like casual gaming at night. So, alright, where am I doing? Where's the mark? I don't like these because I don't have the switch in my arms. So I have to use the controller and it's like awkward. This is like the most awkward part. Can we get it? Okay, okay yes, there we go. Cool, alright. Cool. Uh, what do we have here? What is this? Hey, go help. I'll make it worth your while. Okay. There's a toad there. Let's pull him out. Ooh, thanks, buddy. Got myself in a real pickle there. I'm glad you came along. And you will be glad along when you see the kind of value we're offering today at Toad's Autumn Bots. 150 Yoshi's outfit. Boot car type B racer. Eats desert terrain like a tourist at a buffet. Ooh wee. Hold on to your mustache, cowboy. At least I can do is take you no coins down test drive. Right. Accepting this whistle, you accept it to be not a least lease. This is what I'm talking about. Like American comedy is pretty funny, so like sometimes it's worth it in itself to just kind of like play a game in English. Uh, blow the whistle and it'll take you where you want to go. Stick to the desert, okay? Tired and not rated for other types of terrain. Not a least lease. If the shoe fits, drive it. Like, and when I see this stuff, I kind of wonder, what is a script in Japanese, by the way? Like, because then it makes me want to go and see if it's actually as funny. Hold this, okay, yeah, it's a steer. Cool. Keep that button mashed, and you'll be moving fast enough to break stuff and take out hold. Oh, okay, cool. I can take out origami people with this. Boom. Like that. Ugh, I missed. Oh man. Yeah, I think like again, like I was saying earlier, this is like the worst part. I f screwed up. What am I doing? Okay. I hate sharp things. Yeah, I, I like half the time I forget the controls. Like when I get into battle mode, I you know like I'm like which button is block, which button is A, and then as you can see here, I'm like struggling. Which button is move? Puzzle. Forget it. I, I screwed the puzzle up again. Okay, I'm just gonna start the battle. Uh, excellent. Okay, I got an excellent. These guys are strong. First turn. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Block, 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 Oh. Oh, I did block. It was still a very powerful attack. Oh, I didn't block that at all. Okay. Um. I'm just like trying to figure out the puzzle again. Like, I, I don't know. I screwed up. Okay, so let's just try. To, oh, that was cool. That was awesome. Can I do that again? Uh, how the heck did I do that? Shiny boots. Uh, well, I don't want to use that on this guy. I'm gonna use steel boots. Boom. Yes. Okay. Enemy's turn. Just block, 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 block. Okay, I did it. Blocked. Blocked. Alright, cool. 
finish them off with a power up. Alright, cool. Boom, boom, boom. I missed that guy again. Oh, I didn't even block. Alright, that was a very painful attack. Unblock either time. Finish them off the power up. Okay. Let's do it, Mario. Come on. Alright, yay. I won. Final. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you, you know, it keeps the game kind of interesting, but still, like, you can tell, like, these battles are pointless. Uh, let's see if there's anything around here first. Nothing. <laughs> let's go through the tunnel and see where the yellow stream is. Okay, maybe we should do that. Oh, why did I use the mushroom? Oh, okay, yeah, I, I need it. What is this? Oh, it looks like a shovel. Oh, what was I folded into? It matters to me. He was a- oh, it was a toad. Okay, and then there's some ribbon stuff. Alright, let's get in. I don't think there was anything here. Let's just keep going. Okay, wait a minute. I messed up. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go backwards, actually. Just want to double check. Did I not? Miss anything. Ribbon, more ribbon stuff. Okay, I don't really see anything here. What is this? Is there anything here? Oh, I thought I could break that fence. Does it look like there's any doors here? I don't know. Okay. Well, let's just get back in. Alrighty. Alright, so I am just, uh, again, like after saving, just kind of, I kind of played through the next area, and then I was just kind of like, you know what, I'll just make a reaction to uh, what I'm doing. Because <laughs> I do want to kind of wind down this uh, recording, so. Uh, this is like a new desert area, and I was just kind of like thinking to myself, you know, like, um, this is a cool place. I actually ended up kind of like searching around a little bit. And I guess like what I've learned so far from playing video game today and also just sort of uh, <laughs> real time playing it as well as like doing reactions. I kind of like reactions better. I feel like it's a little bit easier to kind of like play the game and then kind of look around and then kind of come back into it and say, you know, like here's some good parts to talk about it. Um, but I do also like gameplay. It's kind of fun. Here you can notice like uh, you know, there's like a black hole in the sky and I think uh, this desert is just kind of strange altogether. It's kind of like what's going on here with Mario and um, Olivia. She's just like, how could that even happen? Um, so like, you know, like I guess this is the next level. And so I think this makes a pretty good place to stop for today. Uh, I'll just kind of like, before I stop though, I'll just kind of give some closing thoughts and stuff like that. Um, first off, I really love this game. I really feel like this game is just, you know, it's it's gorgeous to look at. It's it's just beautiful artwork. Yes, the battles are repetitive and probably the most cringe parts of the game. Like, you know, trying to figure out oh, a puzzle in like less than 20 seconds. That's hard. <laughs> is it, um, you know, terrible? No, I don't think so. I mean, the game is playable. I mean, like, I, I have fun playing the game. I, I like the story and I kind of feel like um, there are a lot of fun aspects of the game that make up for the battling system. The battling system, okay, I can get over it, right? It's like, it's not terrible to do. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Um, and honestly, I, I like this kind of stuff too, like just kind of like uh, solving things, looking around, exploring. It, it feels like kind of like a free, like open world, open paper Mario world, which is really cool. Uh, it's not a linear game. You can kind of like go in like multiple directions here. I think at this part, I was trying to like bump into this scorpion. <laughs> and I realized, wait a minute, that is not an actual scorpion. That must be a toad. 
So one other thing too is like when you're playing this game, if you notice like the origami like characters that are the bad guys will always be bad guys. But if you see like animals, those are probably toads. <laughs> so you probably want to pound them with a hammer. Um. Yeah, this game is just this game is fun. Like I I feel like it's fun for the exploration parts. Uh, and I think like, you know, once you kind of get the battling system sort of down, it it is kind of like a drag in the beginning and maybe even like during like the middle and last parts of the game. Like here too, right? Like I'm just like, oh, I don't want to fight these dry bones right now. But I guess, you know, sometimes it's good to just challenge your brain with a puzzle. And so I commend Nintendo for actually trying something different than just doing like your standard HP, right, MP like all the other games out there, you know, um, and yeah, it's it makes it different, right? Uh, would I say it's the best Paper Mario game? Um, probably not, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of other good ones out there. Um, Super Mario RPG is like the best, right? But like, I don't think Square and Nintendo are going to work on another project like that again. I mean, they could, they probably have good blood now. For a long time they were having bad blood because Square uh, worked with Sony and made Final Fantasy VII for um, the PlayStation instead of the Super Nintendo that became like a huge hit that allowed Sony to pretty much have an edge over Nintendo and I don't think Nintendo ever forgot about that. <laughs> um, but you know these days you kind of see like Squaresoft games on Nintendo so I feel like all the, the past bad blood in the old 90s and 00s are gone and you know companies are just being companies. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, this is like the last part that I started playing through and I was just kind of like, okay, I feel like this is like a good place to kind of just stop and save. So once I get to the save point, as you'll see, um, I'll probably just kind of like start from there the next video. And I think like, again, I'm probably going to play through the game a little bit more and then just probably react to like the game because as you can tell, like I explore a lot. <laughs> And I feel like probably for the video game stuff, you probably want to see like um, you kind of get closer and closer to sort of like uh, finishing the game. I feel like that is actually kind of like that would make a good YouTube series anyway. But I do like bantering. I do like talking about like stuff. And so uh, let me like kind of switch gears real quick too and talk about like sort of my plans with the gaming aspect of all this. So I kind of feel like with gaming, uh, it's just again something I want to do, uh, just to practice playing and you know talking. I feel like it's a good skill to have. Um, you don't have to watch every single video of mine unless like you want to just kind of see like we play the completion, which makes total sense actually. That would be like why you would watch these game series. Plus like maybe you want to have some banter with me, like you want to like listen to what I have to say. I think like if you do watch this series, I'm gonna like spend more time probably trying to like, you know, just talk about things that are going on, uh, things that I was doing in my day or th through the week, and like drop little like hints and tips about like living life and enjoying life, and maybe like the cool manga and stuff like I'm reading or anime I'm reading. Uh, like I, I did mention, I think to a couple people at Anime LA that I was uh, reading One Piece. And so that's the current manga that I'm, that I'm working on. Uh, I just started, so I feel like some of my videos moving forward in the manga discussions are going to be on One Piece. Um, I am also watching Jujutsu Kaisen. I started watching that with my wife, and um, it's been pretty good so far. I actually like that anime a lot. Uh, so I will probably just start thinking about what I want to like make as far as content in terms of like uh, reaction videos to that, or maybe reactions to like certain episodes or chapters. As well as, um, I think like it would be kind of nice to like have like a video on like the top 10 from 2023 or from Anime LA. I heard a lot of good stuff about Chainsaw Man as you saw in like my Anime LA coverage video. Um, if you haven't watched it then you know make sure you look at the top of this video where there's going to be like a link to that video. Um, Chainsaw Man's pretty good I heard. Uh, I also kind of want to talk about the classics a lot. Uh, I want to talk about Dragon Ball Z, and then uh, Bleach, and Naruto, but I feel like maybe those things are so saturated at the moment, like I can take my time on that and kind of come back to it. 
I was doing Kimagure Orange Road. I think that's a really great slice of life um, manga for people to read. Uh, it's a time capsule of the 80s, which is really cool. And uh, there's a Reddit community that like I subscribe to, and it seems kind of pretty active, and they really like the, the manga, and so I feel like uh, something I'm coming back to. In fact, I have these books now that um, are in native Japanese, and I'm going through them and reading them. I'm also reading One Piece in Japanese, just so you know. And I find that reading the manga in that language is much better. Um, but you know, like I, I like reading English too. I feel like exactly what I was saying here too in this game. There's a lot of com com comedic aspects of this game that are really, really funny in English. That is worth playing the game alone in English, even if it's it kind of deviates from the original script. And you kind of see that too. Like I was trying to say that originally, like before. Um, sometimes like with Anime LA, right, there's more American voice actors than Japanese voice actors. And that could be sort of off-putting for like an anime event. But I feel like sometimes like the English actors do a really great job of like voicing like an anime in English. And so you just end up with like this really cool, you know, maybe it's like not as accurate as the Japanese version, but it's still funny. And so it's worth it and sometimes to kind of go to those uh, events like Anime LA and get the signatures of the people or tell them that you thought it was super funny. Um, you know, or maybe like commend them on their acting. You know, like I was watching Code Geass, which is a pretty great anime. In fact, if you've never seen it, I highly recommend Code Geass. This is like one of my top 10 favorite anime of all time. Uh, if you like Death Note, it's very similar, but it's more, I feel like it's just, more of a like um has a more badass character right like lelouch is really like the coolest character i think i've ever seen um and people like compare breaking bad a lot to to kogias so if you liked breaking bad if you ever saw breaking bad then you probably would enjoy kogias uh but so in my opinion the japanese voice actor for uh Kogias is just really, really good. He does an extremely good job portraying Lelouch. In fact, if you're finished watching this video with me, <laughs> video game with me, which we're almost done, um, then you should probably go and watch a clip of Kogias in Japanese and then just compare it to the English voice. But that said, Johnny Young Bosch does a really great job too um, in voicing the English actor. So yeah, like I said, it's worth it sometimes to just kind of like listen to both. Um, all right, so saving. So I'm pretty much uh, gonna stop here, and we'll come back to like this part next time. Where uh, I think like at this point, uh, Mario and Olivia are supposed to try to figure out the puzzle of like this big toad statue in the desert, and uh, you'll see that in a second here if you're still watching. But um, yeah. So we'll come back to that and we'll play that, that part. I, I think like here's a good time to kind of stop and uh, throw a little bit of a break. But yeah, I, I had fun doing this. I'm probably going to keep doing this as like the first of these video game videos. So I can only get better. And then of course I'm going to have the regular content as well coming through. So here's the Toad, uh, I don't know, castle. And uh, yeah, we'll, again, we'll try it out like the next time around. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're new, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and my uh, banter, and we'll see you next time. See you next video.